this play with bar will be the base and I will put the chainsaw there and I have to put something here so I can lift the chainsaw like this so I will put a metallic angle to each side of the bar and I will put a play with the strip between the angles and the chainsaw bar so I screw the angles to the play with the strips but I don't put any screw in the top hole and I file the tip of the screws that protrude the other side now with a 6mm metal drill bit I drill right on the top holes of both angles like this I can insert there this piece of 6mm threader rod I put one piece to each side of the chainsaw bar and I screw one of them and now I insert the threaded rod the chainsaw bars usually have one hole there but first I put there one nut and a couple of washers I pass the tip of the threaded rod through the hole in the chainsaw bar I put there two washers and one nut and now I put the other angle I put one washer to each end of the rod and one nut the chainsaw bar must be like this, free I must not tighten the nuts against the bar and now I can screw the other angle I could put one strip under the plywood base so I could insert bigger screws now I have to put here some kind of base that reaches the saw chain I've cut this board with that notch here it will fit around this part of the chainsaw housing I adjust the board there and I screw it now I will put these strips here and later I will put another board on them to reach the saw chain here I will put this piece vertically so I must not put this strip against the chainsaw housing I need some room here to put the vertical piece I make sure nothing bumps and I screw the strip and I also screw the other strips now the board I will put here will be this width I've already cut it and here we can see how it bumps against the saw chain right what I need I adjust it on the strips and I screw it making sure I don't put any screw under the saw chain now this piece goes there and later I will cut here the problem now is that the chainsaw moves freely to both sides so I will put one angle to each side they will avoid the side to side movement I put one strip under the angles to lift them and to make them even taller I will put there this plywood strips so I screw the angles to the plywood strips and I file the tip of the screws that protrude the other side so this goes there I screw the first angle to the strip and I use a long screw so I also screw the strip to the plywood base and now, ok, the front handle bumps into the plywood strip I mark the part I have to cut and here I've already cut it so now the handle doesn't bump so now I put another two screws in the metallic angle 
and now I have the same problem with the other strip I have in the other metallic angle. The part of the metallic angle that protrudes to one side, well not sure whether I will cut it or I will leave it like that. Now I take the chainsaw apart. And I screw the vertical piece. I install the chainsaw. And now I already can cut the slot. And I also have cut that groove in the base that will allow to fully cut the branches. So now, with the help of my father and this jig, it is very easy to cut branches in smaller pieces. This is only to show how this chainsaw jig cuts. Actually, I have a lot of branches in my parents' garden that will put the jig to the test. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and to share it. Remember that you can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.